Salaries and Remuneration Commission have been silent as this whole debate has been raging. Silence is not an option anymore, Mr. Speaker. They have to speak to the country. They have to tell us what is it that you're going to do so that we reduce our public expenditure on wages and salaries from 46% to the mandatory 35%, Mr. Speaker. If it means taking a pay cut, we as members of parliament, Mr. Speaker, good people, we have been told that it's not possible that members of parliament will never do it. We don't have an option. We have must do it, Mr. Uh, Mr. Speaker. The yearly increment that is now being discussed, that we are being told that uh, I saw that being reported or misreported in sections of the media that we are now going to earn more. SRC continues to be silent about it, but we must make a resolution and say we reject even that one in light of the financial situation. But as it is, Mr. Speaker, as it is, as it is, Mr. Speaker, even if the high earners were to take a shave on their salary, that is still not enough. I don't have the statistics, and that's why I've said some of these constitutional commissions have failed us, uh, Mr. Speaker. I don't know what would be the percentage of Kenyans say that earn over and above 100 and 150. But I'm certain, Mr. Speaker, they are in the slim minority of less than 10%. 90% of our public uh, officers learn, earn less than 100,000 and below, uh, Mr. Speaker. And therefore, whatever savings that we can make there, let us make, but over and above, the thing that people don't like, Mr. Speaker, and we, this featured prominently, Senator um, Omogeni is out, but he knows, this featured prominently in our NADCO talks, and a report that we tabled here, Mr. Speaker, unfortunately, which we haven't done with speed, Mr. Speaker, captured all the wastages that are in the public expenditure space and what we need to do as a country. From page 546 of the NADCO report, I think, to almost uh, page 600, Mr. Speaker. We are things that we can, we understand, we, things are tight. It's the most obvious thing that people do. Young people are telling us when you have a job with uh, Safaricom, you can live in Langata. But the day you lose that job, you move downwards whether to South B or Moja until things get better. That's what we are not able to do as a leader.